Welcome, guys, to uh, another Code Untapped podcast, and it's the first one of 2022. So, hi, Ez. Hey, Jay. Yeah, really good. First one off to a banging start. So, hopefully, it's going to be quite the year, quite the year. Yeah, and I think to start the year, we've had some fantastic news, actually. Uh, Ez, do you want to tell us a bit about what's been happening in your space? <laughs> well, if you take a look at the bottom <laughs> corner right there. Oh, you mean that? Oh, what's that? <laughs> e. e. What's yes, that? What's exactly. That that exactly. I was um, nominated on the uh, 2022 honours list. Uh, with an MBE for services to diversity and to young people. So that that's, is, I mean, what a way to start, that, right? That's, that, that's great. That, that, that's just great. So, I mean, my first question is, how do you feel? Honestly, oh, I'm still, I'm still, it still feels very surreal. I'm, I'm, I've been buzzing ever since I, I found out and ever since I've been, al- I've been allowed to talk to people about and it. And so you should be. And so yeah. you and you know, you know that feeling you get when you see like a little fuzzy kitten and your heart just swells and it goes through your whole... That's how I felt for the last three weeks. <laughs> wow, so, wow, wow. It's so, just been amazing. So were you allowed to actually tell anybody then? So no. So, you know, I, f- I found out the beginning of uh, December because mm-hmm. the way it works is you get nominated unbeknownst to you and the whole process takes like a year and a half to two years to actually work through so whoever nominated me it would have been a year and a half ago at least when i was nominated um but what that what happens is if if you are if you are successful you get give you get sent a letter now Mm -hmm. i've moved address in the last nine months i hadn't received any letter i just get this phone call um, I've got a missed call on my phone. I've been in the gym that morning. I was like, oh, what's this? Normally, I don't really respond to, to missed phone calls because I get quite a few of them. But I felt, you know, I was on my way into London that day. I ought to take a moment to answer this. I was walking down the street. I, I dialed the number and I, I can't really hear the voice in the background. And they, they mentioned, uh, yes, this is home office or head office. I'm like, head office um I, I don't really understand you know Three sorry to repeat that and i heard yeah or well, i heard in the end i heard cabinet office and i thought oh <laughs> what have i done and uh they they said no no uh, we're just trying we're, we're calling to confirm uh your intentions regarding the letter we've sent you and now i'm really panicking i'm like what letter what have i done have i not paid my taxes <laughs> or something like that um and they said no 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 um okay and i said look uh, if you have sent me a letter i've moved the dress in the last nine months i had a redirect on but it's ended so if you sent me that a letter to that old address which was and i said what it was mm. recently i won't have got the letter I said no you're absolutely right that's the address we have well look uh, we're writing about your nominee your nomination for an mbe in the 2022 honors list we'd like to know if you'd like to accept because mm. the deadline is tomorrow <laughs> and I, I was like, uh, yes, <laughs> I would like to that. absolutely, 100%. And you know, it's amazing because literally the deadline to accept was the day after. And if I hadn't responded to that missed phone call, uh, that would have been the worst, worst missed phone call I've ever had. I can honestly say. So I accepted. And then um, they sent me an email with all the details and you have to fill in a form and just give mm. a bit more information about yourself. And then you're under strict embargo until 10.30 p.m. Uh, December the 31st. You are not allowed to talk to anyone about it except for your company press officer. That's it. Because it can always be withdrawn. Wow. Right? It can always be withdrawn. And they, they publish it through the Gazette, which is the official publication and through Mm -hmm. certain news outlets and so you're not allowed to preempt that in any way Mm -hmm. other than to set up potential interviews or news stories Mm -hmm. but they can only happen after the publication on the 1st of January so yeah so that that was the whole thing so hold on a minute so three weeks before New Year's yeah yeah. you sorry (laughs) (laughs) you've been told this information (laughs) How did you manage to keep cool in all of this? Because you're walking around with this information in your head, knowing this stuff. And, you know, 
Because I didn't know. You didn't tell me. So <laughs> no, no, I couldn't. How did you manage, I, I, honestly, did you manage to, to just keep that under the under wraps? It, it was brutal. It was horrible. Genuinely, genuinely. It was it was so tough because you have all these Christmas celebrations happening. Mm. You're seeing everybody. I had my whole family, including my girlfriend's family, at mine for Christmas Day. Couldn't tell anybody. Couldn't tell anyone about it until till um uh December 31st so yeah it was tough it was really tough but it was so exciting the, the moment I could tell everyone honestly it was incredible yeah it was it was what was funny is uh I noticed a missed call from you at half past 12 <laughs> <laughs> yeah New Year's <laughs> Day half 12 New Year's morning. Day half past 12 what's that it's calling me at half past 12 on <laughs> New Year's Day <laughs> what's going on here and I do you know what I think I was by that time I'd, I'd had a little bit of, yeah no, a little no, no. bit <laughs> and in the next I think the next morning I woke up and there were all these whatsapp messages from all these groups I was like, what's going on here and then I saw it and I was just literally amazed I was just like well done Ez congratulations do, 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 do. so I mean from I know from our sort of collective it's just been positive positive real positive vibes but what was the sort of feedback you've been getting so far so i think the feedback is a thing that's really taken me by surprise um you know obviously you expect some people to say congratulations well done but the level the scale of support has been just incredible the number of people sending me messages, emails, phone calls. Um, you know, I've had people I haven't spoken to for a long time, and in some cases, fairly challenging circumstances. Um, mm. You know, one of the investors from an old company of mine reached out and congratulated me, both on LinkedIn and by WhatsApp. You know, I've had emails from all sorts of people. So that it's just been kind of overwhelming. But then on top of that, it's not it's just it's not just been the congrats it's been the level of feeling as well mm -hmm. and just how you know how important this has been to other people this has been important to me for a whole host mm -hmm. of reasons but i literally had a really good friend andrew brown um mm -hmm. you know he's a member of our yeah. collective uh call me on saturday morning you know new year's day at 10 i'm still in bed 10 o'clock my phone's ringing it's andrew <laughs> I answer and he's practically in tears mm. right just so over the moon and just saying to me look bruv you don't understand you're a man you're a black man from Lewisham it's really important people yeah. like us don't get these types of awards yeah right and you know that really opened my eyes to just what stunned me was how important my award Mm -hmm. was to other people yeah right to friends family mentees people i've advised startup companies i've spoken to organizations within my network so innovate finance have congratulated me crisis so i'm an, you know i'm advisor to their board they they've posted about it um spring the center of excellence for water they've posted about it um just so um, all these organizations that are just connected to me have been banging the drum about it as well. It's, it's just been, it's been amazing. It really has. Humbling is, is the honest answer. Absolutely. It, and it's just, I, mean, I concur with Andrew. I mean, it's, it's an amazing, uh, it's an amazing achievement and thank it, you. it's, it feels like it's actually an achievement for like you said, for the collective, we all feel that, you know, that we're, we're part of that. <laughs> We've got a little piece of that MVP. I mean, it's, 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 it's just amazing. And, uh, you know, we're just so happy that, you know, you've got it actually. Um, and I'm really proud to be your co-founder. Yeah. And so, yeah, I'm just over the moon as well. So, I mean, what, what, cause what impact do you think that this will have on you going forward? So I think, Firstly, as I said, the biggest impact I see is just the inspiration it's created for other people. Um, the number of people I've had writing to me just saying, seeing you do this is amazing. Seeing you achieve this is amazing. And these are, you know, young black men as well, just writing to me and just saying, 
so proud and excited that you've managed to do this because they realize that if I can do it, you know, I'm, you know, I'm no one special. I grew up in Southeast London, grew up in Lewisham. My parents were teachers. Um, I failed my A-levels, right? If I've been able to do this, so can they. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that inspiration piece has been just so, so important. And just why I'm just so pleased to have received this as well, because if that helps even one person in one of the groups I'm affiliated with, or even who just sees that, and that sees that post and sees oh, sees it in an article or in an interview, you know, as received an MBE, and it inspires them to go and do more. Then that's just that's just amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, but from a personal perspective and a professional perspective, I think it provides such a great platform for everything that we're doing in terms of what we do at Code Untapped, in terms of what I do at Impact X. You know, we always talk about how the conversation has shifted from why is this why is diversity important and it's shifted away from the question of why or is it even important to okay we get it how do we go about solving for this right how do we go about improving the situation and now being able to say well look you know even the government and the the queen has recognized me for Mm -hmm. what i do around diversity and supporting young people you know, there, there is no more a quest, no, no longer any question that this is an important area to yeah. be working on. Exactly. Right? There, is, there is no question. Mm-hmm. That level of validation is absolutely crucial. And it lends a significant amount of weight to my voice now when I speak mm-hmm. to people and say, look, this is what we're doing. This is where we're going. These are the people. And they see that MBE title and they see that recognition. They go, OK, no, we need to listen to this person. Right. People listen to me before anyway, but it's just that little bit of extra Great extra idea. impact that you now have. Mm. And what I'm hoping is, you know, as we step forwards with Code Untapped and our activities, particularly as we look to incubate startups and the rest of it, as I work with ImpactX and we're focused on closing that big um, funding round so that we can start to invest in more startups, I just hope that exposure, that credibility, and that weight that it provides helps us to really execute on those different ideas and plans um, as we move forward. Excellent, excellent. So, as I mean, you know, 2022. What have we got? What 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 have we got planned? What have we got planned? What are we doing? What what, what, what haven't we got planned? Mate? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Guys? What are we doing? <laughs> oh, we're we're doing a lot, right? I think um, Code Untapped. we we have a few more. Uh, hackathons and workshops lined up with Bankless Bank. You know, we're we're speaking to um, as a group called the the New Working Class as well, NWC by James Scroggs. That's looking to have us um, as a regular partner to run events in some of the spaces that they're building out. And New Working Class, an organisation that's looking to do things um, in slightly differently when it comes to training. And it's all about how do you get training on the job. Right. And they're setting up in um, what's the word, shopping malls and the rest across the country to provide on the job training. And they really want us to do our hackathons and workshops within on site with them. So there's all sorts of stuff that might be happening there. We're continuing to incubate startups. Um, we have Kennedy with Aries VR in the um, VR pilot training space. And we've got our very own Jason Housestead with Subgroup. Uh, which is launching this year. Uh, you know, some amazing work that's been done there and is now focused on fundraising and the rest. So finally out of stealth, really getting out, you know, even though I've been, I've been banging that drum for some time, but, you know, some really incredible stuff happening there. And then, you know, with, um, and we're looking to start, you know, incubating more startups. That's really the hope. And then with Impact X, we're super close to, to closing our first major fundraising round. And we'll be uh, investing more and more over the course of this year. And potentially, you know, we've got both the investment arm, we've got the incubation arm in Code Untapped. So we'll see some really great things happening. And, you know, we continue to bang the drum for diversity and technology, uh, helping those within our network to get more exposure. And we'll be doing more and more around that as the year goes on. So a lot of great stuff that we're hoping to see in 2022. It's just, just the beginning, right? That's, that's the way I look at it. So, I mean, I'm really excited. I'm really infused about where, where we're going, what we're doing in 2022. And 
So I think I'm going to leave it there today, actually, because um, it's, it's such a such a great high. Yeah. So <laughs> let's just continue. Yeah. So I'd just like to say, guys, uh, keep listening. So the next one will be in two weeks and uh, we'll speak soon. Thanks a lot. Have a great 2022.